Oh, hello. Welcome into my workshop. I'm going to welcome to the show Creations of Clay. My name is Louis Palladini, and today I'd like to be doing something that everyone's familiar with. They call it the unicorn of the sea. I want to do a narwhal. And what it is, it's a beautiful little whale, and uh, it's got a huge tusk in the front of its head. So it looks just like a unicorn, but it uh, lives in the ocean. And I'll show you how to make that from start to finish. And that's what it will look like when we're completed. So I will get the size balls of clay. But before we do that, um, I just wanted to mention that there's different types of clay that you can use. There's an oil-based clay such as this, which can never harden. So you can use that, you know, and you can use it multiple times. And once it, uh, you get bored with it, you just make something else. There's also an air-hardening clay such as this, which hardens like in a couple of hours or overnight. And then my preference for the clay is a clay called Super Sculpey. And that, uh, what I love about that is that you can bake it in the oven at about 275 degrees for about 15 or 20 minutes and then it becomes hard. It's always soft until you fire it in the oven like that. But I'll show you the size balls of clay that we'll be using today. We're going we're gonna to have different, I did have a little piece of wire. We're going to be using this for the, uh, the narwhal's tusk in the front. Let's see, I'll try to show you. I don't know. It's kind of small to see, but I'll show you that there. And then we got these two balls of clay here. You can see those in my hand. Those are going to be used for the flippers in the front. And then we got this ball of clay for the body. And then this ball, these two balls of clay for the tail or the flukes. And the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to make the body of the whale which we're going to be working on this right here, this piece right here, and the body. And I'll show you how to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the, this here. I'm just going to squeeze up my hands like this. And, you know, that way we can knead it just like that. Now this part, see I'm just squeezing it from all sides right now. So just like that. And then this is actually going to be the tail section here, but I want to do a little more work on the head right here. So when, when you, you squeeze that from both sides. And what we're going to do is I'll show you. See that, how it's starting to form that, like that, right there? What I want to do is, this is probably going to be a little bulkier here, or, or thicker here. We're just going to make, make this a little thinner towards the top of the head. See that, how I'm doing that? I'll just keep lengthening that out. You just knead it from all sides like this. And then, see how I'm doing the tail? We're kind of thinning that out a little bit. Doing that. You know, just apply it from all sides. We're doing that. And then what I'm going to do is as we're doing that, I also want to just tap this on the table a little bit because when we just go like that, flatten them out a little bit in the, in the bottom like that. See that? Do that. And another thing I want to do is kind of pinch it up here a little bit, right here. You want to kind of pinch it a little bit between your fingers like that. See that? See how I made that? 
can kind of see I'll rotate it around so you can get a better look at it. You want to pinch that a little bit like that, right there. And now what we want to do is just take your thumb and kind of smooth it over a little bit like this. I'm going to go all around like that. Kind of smooth them over. We're going to go all the way around. Just kind of smooth them over like that. Just like that. See how I'm doing that? See that? That's going to be the front of the head. And that's where we're going to eventually put the tusk right here. But I just want you to smooth it out a little bit. There's one thing that I also want to do too. It's like with the super sculpey, I always poke it in the bottom here because when we fire this in the oven, it's going to be just let some of the gases escape inside the clay so it doesn't uh, crack. So that does help when you do that with the Super Sculpey. If you're using another type of clay, you don't have to do that. Okay, so now we've got that pretty much where we want it. I'm gonna twist this, this tail a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare it to my, my model here. I want to look and see. Yeah, it's about right. Just smooth it a little bit more. So this is what it will look like from the underside right now. That's what it looked like from the side, the top, and that's what it looked like from the front. So now we're going to proceed to make what they call the tail or the flukes. And that is this piece right here. We're going to be making these tail flukes right here. And I'll show you how to do that and attach them. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this piece of clay here. Flatten this out like that. See, I'm flat. See how I'm flattening that with my fingers? But then you also kind of want a rounded shape here. And then I'm just going to tap it a little lightly on the bottom. See, I'm kind of flattening this out a little bit here with my finger. So we're going to do that. And this is the shape that we want right now. Just like that. So what I'm going to do is take that and we're just going to attach it right here like that. And I'm just going to try to attach it like that. See that? We'll attach from both sides. What we're going to do is I'm just kind of kneading that clay together so it it's a firm attachment. We're going to make the other tail fluke right now. So what I'm going to do is take this round ball. See I'm doing that? I'm flattening this out again. Just like that. See I'm flattening that? But then we want to create this shape right here. You want to round it out like that. And then I'm going to see if it's about the same size. Yeah, it looks like it approximately is. So I want to flatten that out a little bit with my finger like that. Flatten that just like that. Now 
we're going to put this on the other side, just like this. See that? Now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take one of my sculpting tools. Now that we've got both sides done, I want to take and just kind of use that to kind of work that in a little bit because we want to make sure that that's firmly attached. And I want to do that for both sides because I want to make sure that that's very firmly attached right now. I'm going to push that. And one of the things I want to do too is take this and kind of create an indentation right here like that. take one of these other ones. I want to make sure I make a little, see how I did that, that little indentation up the top. Okay. So I just want to smooth that out a little bit more. Okay, that looks pretty good for the time being. See how we did that? Now, what I noticed with the uh, narwhal is this, this, the tail flukes are rounded. Like, see, this is how this is rounded. If you take like a killer whale or another type of whale, a sperm whale, this would be a little more pointed on the ends here, but it's more rounded. I was looking at the pictures on the internet and it, it's a little more rounded like this. It looks similar to the way I'm doing it right now. I also want to make the other flippers, which are, I'll show you, these are the other flippers right here. See these right here? We want to make these flippers and put those on the side. So what I'm going to do is take these two pieces of clay here and we're going to make flippers. So we're going to flatten these out like this. And see that the shape that I'm making right now? That's the shape that you want right now. And just like that. And then what I'm going to do, I'll put this down, we'll make the other one. See that? Flatten these out. Just like that. So we're flattening that, and then you want to make, and that's the shape that you want. So you go around with your fingers like that to make the shape, like then that shape right there. See that? Flatten that out. I want to make sure these are the same size. Yep, they're approximately the same size. That's what you want. So the that. Now, I want to see where I approximately have to place these. Okay. Once, yeah, yeah, okay. So I'm going to take this, see this? Just kind of attach it like that. Attach it. But what we're also going to do is we're going to attach it from the other side. So I'm going to take this and try to work the clay from both sides. I'm going to take this sculpting tool and kind of work the clay from both sides because you, you want it to be firmly attached. So I'll kind of smooth that over a little bit. Just want to make sure we got enough clay attached there so it's not going to break off.
Okay. See how that looks? Oh. Jack, I think the light went off. Uh, uh, I can't see the screen anymore. Oh. Can you, could you still see what I was doing or? Hmm? Could you oh, I could still, yeah, I can oh. see. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. I was like, oh, well. I thought everything. So yeah, we'll just keep going. Keep, keep doing what you're doing with that. Okay. So I've I've firmly attached that flipper like that. See how that is? And we're going to proceed to do the the one the next one on the other side. So what I'm going to do is take this flipper here, and uh, looks about right. We're going to attach that right there. See that? So I'm going to take that and take and kind of work the clay in like that, like that. And then we're going to go from the other side. See that one doing from the other side? I want to make sure that we, we firmly attach it from both sides. See that? I want to make sure we get both sides. That's very important because otherwise it will, will snap off if I don't. So the next thing that I want to do is I'll compare it to my other model. And I want to do the I want to do an eye. So what I'm going to do is approximately right here. See that? We're going to push this in and make the eye. And I'll just rotate that around a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I take this tool and I just kind of work my way around to the other side. I'm going to make sure to put it in approximately the same location over here. We got that right there. See how I did that? And I'll just make that a little bigger. Rotate that around a little bit. Okay. So he's really coming along. You can really start to see him taking shape right now. The next thing that I want to do is We'll take a little bit of clay, I have my, some extra clay here. We're going to make a little ball, tiny ball for the eye. And I'm just going to take a rotate that between my fingers like that. And I'll try to show you in my palm of my hand, it's pro approximately that size there. And we're going to put that down. And we're going to make two of these. I'll rotate that. We'll make sure to, yeah, it's just got it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take this ball here. Whoop, <laughs> fell out of my fingers. I was going to try to put it, that, it appears that these are too big right now. So I'm going to make them a little smaller. little smaller. So I made it a little bit smaller. So what I'm going to do now is then put them in there like that. See I, I put it I put it like that. And now see, see I can see that. And I'll proceed to do the same with the other side. I'm going to place that right in there. See how we did that? Really looks nice. Now, the next thing that we want to do is I want to start getting this ready. 
I want to do the nose or the tusk. I think it's approximately going to be right there. So I'll make the, I'm going to make the hole right there. And I want to see roughly, yep. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to get some clay now. And I want to put the clay, I'm going to just take a little bit of clay here, work this here, pull it out. And what I'm going to do is, you know what we could do to make it easy? We'll take and roll this like this, this way. It'll give us the shape we want. I'm going to add a little more clay to the end here. So you can always take some clay off if it's too long. But see this, how I'm rolling this on the table? See that? Now what I want to do is take this here, this piece of wire, place it on top like that, right? Now we're going to press it in. just want to make sure that that is exactly the way I want it. I'm going to make sure that that's straight. So now we can place that right on there, and I'm going to push that piece of wire into it, like that. And then just think of like a hot dog bun, you almost come back up and over, like that. You pull it up and over the wire. See how I'm doing that with my fingers? Pull it up and over. up and over, like that. And then I'll try to smooth it over a little bit now, now that it's covered. Up and over. See how we did that? That's, that's starting to look like a pretty good tusk right now. What I want to do is go back and measure it compared to my other one. So, yeah, it's about right. I'm going to pinch this piece off here. Make sure I have them about the same length. So what I want to do now is we want, to, we want to make a nice little twist in it. I'll show you what I had on this. See this here, how it's got a nice texture? I twisted this around so it has that nice texture like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing with this one. So what we're going to do is just take and just twist a little bit like this. See that? Just twist a little bit. Gives it a nice texture. Just twist it a little bit. Just like that.
See that? It's got a nice twist to it. See how I created that? I, you see, you go in twisting like that. Gonna, I'll hold that up. We'll see if you can get a better view of that. See how they, see it's got the little twist marks in there? Gives it it's a nice texture. So what we want to do, now that we've done that, we want to attach this to the front of the head. So this here, you want to push that in a little bit. And then what you want to do is, is come back in. We're going to use the sculpting tool now. Is attach this here. See I'm attaching that? You want to make sure that that's attached. Just like that. See how I'm attaching that? We want to make sure that's firmly attached so when we do bake it, it'll, it'll be all right. Then we got, just want to kind of smooth this a little bit. It doesn't, a little tool. Okay, we get around there like that. Okay, so there's just a couple more steps. What I want to do is I want to make the mouth. So I'm going to take this tool here, see that? And just kind of go like that. See that? I'm going to come around. I'm going to do that on the other side too. See that? See how we made the mouth there? And then I also want to make a little blowhole up top. So we're going to make that right about here. So I'll take, see that? We'll do that right up there. So, this is what, once it's all completed, that's what the version we just sculpted will look like. I'll just rotate that around. You can see how it's got the nice tusk in the front. You can see the top with the tail and everything. The blowhole, you got the eyes. You got that. And that's what the final sculpted version was. Once you fire it in the oven at 275 for about 15 or 20 minutes, what I did is, is I, I twisted the tail a little bit too. You can do that too. But this is what the final, fi final fired version of the narwhal will look like, which I like to call the unicorn of the sea. And you can see those nice, nice rounded flukes there. In, uh, then you can see the underside. You can see where I made the holes so the gases can escape when you do fire it. And I do want to thank you for coming to Creations of Clay, and I do look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now.